everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be making skirt steak tacos, some uh, carne asada on the Weber 26. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is make the marinade, pour it all in this bag, then I'm gonna put the meat in the bag. So first things first, fresh squeezed orange juice, about a half a cup. Quarter cup of lemon or lime juice. Good for the acidity, helps tenderize the meat. Half of a whole white onion. Get some of that good flavor in there. And then here I have uh, roughly two and a half tablespoons of garlic clove, uh, finely chopped garlic, along with four tablespoons of vegetable oil. Help coat that up really nice. And then finally, we're gonna give it a little kick with some crushed red pepper flake. We'll go one tablespoon. I'm sorry, one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Okay. That's all nicely mixed. Let me get that combined. Make sure you get it nice and mixed, integrated all together. Okay. And the piece of meat we're working with is USDA choice. It's about 1.2 pounds. So this is uh, my first time making this. So this is kind of exciting. Got a couple, a couple nice pieces here. It looks really good. Nice. Nice fat content, marbling. I think this is gonna come out great. So we'll go ahead and get that in there. I'm gonna seal this up pretty tight, get as much air out as possible. Get this mixed up so everything's covered. Everything's getting in there. Now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about two hours. Then at the end of the two hours, I'm gonna fire up the Weber. The 26, we're gonna be using the uh, Jealous Devil Lump Charcoal. And we're gonna be going hot and quick with this to about a temperature of about 135 internal. Uh, we're gonna pull it, let it rest, slice it into some nice tacos. Be right back. All right, everybody, we're gonna make this short and sweet. Uh, it's a crummy day outside today, so. We don't have to hear the rain coming down or the wind. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this fire started. So I'm just lining up some of the Jealous Devil Lump Charcoal. Got a full chimney going. I'm gonna put it right down the center here cause I'm gonna use that to cook over. I'm gonna go direct heat, hot and fast with this cook. And then I'm gonna also use the heat to warm up some of my uh, favorite corn tortillas to go with this. So let's go ahead and dump this across here. Okay. Go ahead and get that fire going, get that grate on top. Then we are gonna be able to rock. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, skirt steak out of the fridge, go ahead and rub it up and get it out here on the fire. Okay, so the fire's gone. We're gonna get this meat out of the marinade. It's been about two hours. So we're gonna take it out. We're going to pat it dry and put some rub on it. The rub we're gonna use is basic, very, very basic, but delicious always. Salt, pepper, garlic, kosher salt, coarse pepper, garlic powder, and some paprika. A little extra flavor and some taste. Ooh, this smells delicious already. That garlic and onion. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so these are nice and dried up a little bit. You could keep the bigger pieces of onion and garlic on there. That's just going to add flavor as you cook it. Okay, go ahead and add the paprika first. of that on here. 
would be a great, great, great color. And my go-to favorite, salt, pepper, garlic, SPG. Put that on there pretty liberally. Pat it in. Flip, get both sides, because you're gonna eat both sides, right? There we go. Nice and rubbed up, ready to go. Fire's cooking, once it's ready, we'll throw this on. Now I wish I would have bought more of this, but this is my first time trying this. So that being said, if it comes out well, we're gonna have to do a lot more of it. All right, we'll go get this fire checked and get this on shortly. Okay, we got a nice fire going right now. Coals are looking great. We'll go ahead and toss the skirt steak on. Gonna just go a couple minutes each side since it's not too much of it. Not too thick of a cut here. So like I said, we're gonna let it sear up here, get some nice marks. About two minutes each side, three minutes maybe. Then we'll take it off, let it sit for a little bit. While it's sitting, resting, I'll warm up some corn tortillas and then we will enjoy. And it's been a total of about six minutes, about three minutes each side, rotating a little bit. These are looking phenomenal. Great smell and texture looks like it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna pull these off, get them on a cutting board, tent them a little bit with a little aluminum foil, and we'll warm up the tortillas and get ready to chow. Okay, everybody, I toasted up some tortillas, nice and warm, the way I like them on the grill. Goes great with the steaks. So let's see how these came out. Now these look amazing. Let's get a close up shot here. These came out perfect. Can't wait to cut it into them and try it. So let's do just that. Now you can still see the grain on these going this way and this way. So, you know, you gotta cut against the grain. Make sure you keep the juices in there. Keeps it nice and tender. Oh man, is this tender? This is gonna be phenomenal. Now again, this is my first time attempting this, so that's why I only went with is a, just a little over a pound, about a pound and a quarter, because if it turned out bad, we weren't gonna, we could throw it away. But the way it's looking, oh my goodness. All right, we'll give it a test here, see how it goes. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. You get the, a little bit of the acidity from the juices. You get that great salt and pepper taste, which I absolutely love. A little bit of spice on the back because of the red pepper flake we added. So I'm gonna build a taco here. All I'm gonna use is some queso fresco and uh, some onions, and that's all I'm gonna do for now. Be right back. All right here, so I'm gonna take one of the corn tortillas. I'm only gonna use one. Uh, take some of this meat here. That should be good. A little bit of the queso fresco. Just a touch of the onion. Here's my taco. I'm so excited to try this.
Mm. Perfect. Of course, you could add whatever you want to it. A lot of people add cilantro. I'm not a cilantro fan. Um, you could add sauces or whatever you want to it. Make it your own, right? Do this. It'd be fantastic. I highly recommend it. And I will definitely be doing this again. Till then, take care. And talk to you soon.